Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Um, This episode is going to be about um, a band called Band Made, um, highly requested on this channel. Um, The song I'm going to talk about is called Dice. It was released in 2018, Um, and I wasn't sure which song to choose, but from our comments section, people were saying not to react to their latest song, but an older one instead. Um, too often I get that, yeah, how comes you're not doing that really good one that I used to like, but not, you know, you shouldn't be doing this one that they've only just released. So I won't fall into that trap. We'll do one from uh, a few years ago. Um, first of all, though, I'll sing the theme tune. How about that? Nice. Yeah, I thought so. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. They are a Japanese rock band formed in 2013 and they have seven studio albums. The band combines a rock sound with a maid image modelled on Japanese maid cafes. What's that then? The theme is reinforced by the band who refer to their male fans as masters, their female fans as princesses and their concerts as servings. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay, so the band's cute and submissive maid appearance is meant to contrast with their aggressive rock style and they have decided to have two vocalists to allow a larger variety of music with two different voice types the music videos that they make get millions upon millions of uh, views on youtube so they're doing something they're doing something let's have a listen to it wait so immediately doesn't that remind you of the beginning of um, You could be mine, but you're well online. Which is from the soundtrack of Terminator 2. Right, guys? Matt Sorum, John Phil at the beginning. It's like that. That's exactly the same. Actually, it's not, it's not the same. <laughs> the drum beat's very similar, but the bass line is way more complicated. Oh, I knew it would be detuned. That's annoying. So they've done that classic thing of a Guns N' Roses tuning. Um, it's a semitone down on all the strings, which makes life a bit difficult when you're trying to trying to play along to it. I'm not going to detune. I'm not going to retune. But actually, I might do. I'll retune the other guitar. Yeah. As I've said before, this uh, this particular tuning that I'm, I'm having to do here is um, I think it's designed. It has two purposes. First of all, it makes the guitar sound more powerful because they're a bit lower, right across the board. Um, actually, it also makes the guitars a little bit easier to play lead on because you can bend without hurting your fingers too much. Um, and the other thing is, it makes life easier for the singer as well because it's a semitone down, obviously. So all in all, it's just cheating. I much prefer standard tuning. And before anybody gets their knickers in a twist, I'm joking. Of course it's not cheating. You know. It's just a bit frustrating. Because I I like I like to hear an A chord. I'm an ACDC enthusiast. <laughs> Wow, it sounds like it's going to be one thing and then it takes a, a real left turn. Get The time signature time signature gets really interesting. Yeah, so that, that first verse is like... I'm not sure what the riff is. Something around E minor. <laughs> really weird time signature. This is 
really progressive. Yeah, so that whole chorus sequence is kind of like... So it goes C, G, D, E minor, and then there's a bit that goes C, D, D. It's really straight, but then as soon as it gets into the verse, it's, it sort of gets into the, the weird time signature stuff again, and it gets really progressive. I think maybe this uh, the sort of really simple C, G, D, E minor chorus bit is probably a relief after all that stuff. It's got a really cool, like, uh, it's weird because it sort of sounds like two different movie soundtracks at the same time, from the same sort of era as well. Like, um, the, the, that, the initial drum beat, the <laughs> sounds like You Could Be Mine, the Guns N' Roses song from um, Terminator 2. And then the other thing it sounds like is Big Gun, which I think is, uh, Big Gun. <laughs> But there's there's a riff in there. That's what that riff the riff of this reminds me of once it once it gets going, like the, the sort of post chorus tag riff is like a <laughs> reminds me of that. Big Gun, what's that from again? Is that from Last Action Hero or something like that? One, another Schwarzenegger movie. Just some really serious playing on this. Oh my god. I mean, how many strings has that bass player got in there? One, two, three, four. Is that a six string bass? It's mental. That's no. Okay, it's a, f a five then, okay. I was worried it was a six then. <laughs> and it's a bass solo. Why am, I, why am I waffling over a bass solo? <laughs> what kind of guitar is that? It's really good, isn't it? So what I wanted to say this about the singing as well. This is there's no this isn't an auto-tuned pop vocal or anything like that. This is a proper really serious bit of singing and it, most of it sounds like it's only two guitars and when they're sort of playing in unison in stereo. It's not it's, it's I wouldn't even describe this as being overproduced in any way at all. It's pretty raw. It's just really well played and super intense. Yeah, yeah, variations on an E minor theme, but with this, really decent. But it's really good. It's it's kind of like um, it's progressive in you know in the sense that uh, there's some um, interesting stuff happening with the time signature and uh, the way the the two. So the stereo guitars harmonise with each other in the second verse. Uh, it gets really proggy in there, but but it opens up into super tread um, chord sequence for the for the chorus, and and there's a riff that's in E E minor with a bit of A and G. Um, so it kind of um, it just sounds like a cross, a sort of hybrid between sort of nineties the the nineties end of the sort of classic rock world, like early nineties stuff, and um, and then. And then some much more sort of complex. It's really, I, I have to say, I really enjoyed it um, because I feel like that it's complex enough and and it's sort of self indulgent enough in the verses, but it's completely justified by the chorus, which is super simple. Um, and the whole thing is really powerful, played with real intensity, and um, actually really enjoyable. It's not the sort of chorus that you'd sing along to. It's not like an anthemic chorus, but but it sort of reminds me of like. Um, 
I mean, any song that's got that sort of playing in it and then a bass solo, they're not doing it for commerce. <laughs> and yet there's millions and millions of people watching it. So I don't know. It actually seems like a project with real, real integrity. I don't know why I haven't listened to this before. It's cool. I enjoyed it. Nice one, Bandmade. Justin Hawkins rides again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and watch one of these two videos. Awesome. Nice one, guys.